Hi there, my name is Ashley. I'm a stay-at-home mom to a preschooler and a toddler, and I love giving tips and tricks on encouraging a love of learning in your little one by making videos just like this. I'll be sharing five games and activities that will give your budding reader a little more practice in a fun way. Keep in mind, these games are not meant to teach reading. It is only a tool for strengthening their reading in a fun and hands-on way. Okay, let's get started. This first game will get your little one out of their chair and get those wiggles out. For this word hop game, you'll need painter's tape and a marker. Say your child has been working on the at family. You're gonna choose a few words that you would like them to practice. Then you're gonna write each letter of the word on the tape first. So if you're practicing the word cat, you'll make a piece for each letter. Then you're gonna make a piece for the whole word. Do this for each word, then tape each piece in order on the floor that is hopping distance. Have your little one hop on each letter, saying the letter sound out loud as they go. It's gonna look something like this. What I love about this game is that it helps your child target each letter sound and reminds them that words are made of different sounds. Next is a game that is highly requested by my daughter and it's called Don't Let the Cat Out of the Bag. For this game, you need flashcards and a bag. Gather around 20 to 30 words you want your child to practice and write them on flashcards. I recommend making the flashcards small. Then on five of the flashcards, write the word cat. Now it's playtime. Get two or more players and put all of the flashcards in the paper bag and mix them all up really well. Each person has to take a card out of the bag and read it. If they can't read it, it has to go back in the bag and they can try again on their next turn. The object is to collect as many cards as you can. The player with the most cards wins. But there's a catch. If someone chooses the cat card, they have to put all of their words back in the bag. This game is perfect for those who love to be competitive. The next game will not only help your child with reading, but with their hand-eye coordination as well. I call it throw the ball at the word. Super original, I know. You will need flashcards or sticky notes and something lightweight to throw like a small ball. Write down however many words you want your child to practice and evenly place them on the wall. Then it's time to have fun. Simply call out a word and have your child try to aim and throw the ball at the right word. Reading can sometimes get boring for our wiggly little ones. This is just an active way for them to learn, especially for our kinesthetic learners. The next activity will get your little one learning outside. It's called Reading Obstacle Course and all you need is sidewalk chalk. This game will take some imagination on your part. You're gonna draw an obstacle course on the sidewalk using words. Here I made word family ladders, hopping stones over lava, and sight word hopscotch. For little ones learning how to read sentences, you can write a command and offer options for them to circle. For example, I wrote, get the red book, and drew a red book and other pictures around it. Most kids love getting outside in the sunshine to play, so by incorporating learning and playtime together, we're helping them make that connection that learning is fun. And this last activity is called word hunt. You'll need letters, whether physical, like these magnets, or written on paper, a sensory bin, and a scoop or tweezers. Make a list of words you want your child to practice and mix all of the letters into the sensory bin. Then call out a word for your child to search for. You can get a little extra on this activity and add a narrative if you want. Just make sure you make it fun for your child, whatever that may look like. I hope this video was useful and I hope it inspired you to make reading a little more fun for your little one. Happy learning. I will see you in the next one.